button on your notification bell. You will still get those information you are looking for. Six feared dead as rival court groups clash in Southeast states. Now, in a certain Southeast state of Nigeria, court groups, rival court groups, they clashed. Six person has been, you know, confirmed dead. And uh, we're talking about the light of the nation state, Anambra. And so, they said this incident happened at or along the Popular Zika Avenue in the state capital of Walker. So, police said they are monitoring the situation. The residents said they had heavy gunshots. That's they reported heavy gunshots. They said these gunshots forced them to scamper for safety, to run helter skelter. And that is it. So, he, the police spokesperson said they are closely monitoring the whole situation. And we said, police is monitoring the situation. Well, that is their business. But the point we're making is this. The youths with vigor and energy should have been directed to useful venture. If not that Nigeria is a country where they have allowed the youths to derail, they have allowed the youths, you know, to waste their productive energy and time. A situation where you have industries, factories that will employ the youths, you will not see them in this kind of situation. You know, carrying, you know, AK-47 just to, you know, do courtism and court activities. It's because of the negligence of the people in power, those in authority, they have continued to, you know, cater for their families alone, their relatives, their associates, their cronies and their allies. Leaving the, the the vulnerable youths at the at the, at the, at the mercy of uh, you know any any situation that is very unpleasant and grotesque. Yes, they are at the mercy of the evil machinations. Those who you know mischief makers. Those who you know produce evil. So the youths are at the mercy of these people. Because governments have refused to do their obligation towards the youths. And come to the other side of it, these youths are from the southeast. This energy is supposed to have been put into a veritable, you know, a, a venture like making sure that the Fulani Hesmen who are coming to the zone to destroy lives and property, you know, they retreat by putting themselves in the vigilant team through the community the traditional rulers and the present generals they're supposed to utilize these young ones put them into vigilante to make sure that these young people defend the people defend their mothers defend their you know their brothers and sisters with this energy should have been directed towards youthful venture, like we're saying. Full and henchmen, they are mesmerizing. Full and henchmen, they are rampaging. Full and henchmen are causing, you know, mayhem, wrecking havoc. And they start, it's kidnapping people, like we have said, in those locations. They are there in Enugu. They are there in Abia. They are there in Imo. They are in Anambra, they are everywhere in the south, they are in Ebony, the friendly headsmen. So, the present generals, the traditional rulers should have mobilized these youths with this energy they are using to fight each other and court related activities. In the vigilante, vigilante, it's allowed in, in the law to have vigilante so that they will be able to defend their mothers, their brothers, and their sisters, particularly their sisters, their, their, their mothers, from rape of this Fulani people the terrorist hitman so that is what we are saying let the traditional rulers the present generals in the southeast region you know collaborate with the authorities they should establish this kind of thing vigilante to make sure that the vigilant the forest because here saying will not be everywhere as the government of nigeria 
and the state governments in the South East, they are working hard to eliminate ESN. ESN is trying as much as possible to be potent and to defend the, the people of the, of the South East. Yet, they have to be assisted by the locals, by the hunters, village hunters and locals. Like these everybody young men who are going to you know, court activities. Well, they should protect the forest, the bush, bush parts in the South East. As they will be, you know, put into a vigilante. That is it. So that is what is expected of these traditional rulers, of these uh, president generals, not to go and be fooling governors about, not to go and you know start, you know, chasing you know material things in government house. They should do this. It is allowed. We know some communities have done that. Few communities. The traditional rulers and the prisoners, they will go together, they will know, and they will bring these young people, they will conscript them and uh, enlist them into this uh, vigilante. And that is it. So we are looking forward to see this. Not this uh, military invasion we are seeing here, they said they are people. Nowhere. Wherever you see them, that is when you see more trouble. Like what is happening in a Hamofu. In Usuzo, no government area of any state, you have seen what's happening there. The military, they are there. If you tell them where the Fulani Hesmen they are camping, they will not go there. They will never go there. The residents have been saying this. Locals have been saying this. They say, look, if you say, look at the way they, the, where they camp, the Fulani Hesmen, those kidnapping for ransom, killing people, destroying lives they did not create. The military will not go. Rather, they will be chasing the innocent people. Said the IPOB, and so that is what we are saying. This youth should be should be guided properly by those who are supposed to do that. The traditional rulers, the present generals. We have seen that the governors in this part of the world, and this uh, part of the country, they are working with full and oligarchs to destroy the zone. It is no longer news. Everybody said, what fit? When we started saying this thing, earlier on, that look at what, what the governors are doing. So people think that you are trying to blackmail the governors. No. We have seen the truth, and that truth, we must continue to relay it, no matter whose ox is God. Yes, the truth must be said at all times. Because it's only the truth that can set us free, humanity, free. And so the governors today, you cannot trust them. So the traditional rulers and the present general should do the needful. Nobody can stay and allow, you know, people who are wicked, malicious, and who has no recourse to him and life to come and destroy him and destroy his family and wipe away his generation. Nobody does that. People have been calling for self-defense in other parts of the country. And nobody has said anything against them. Yes. In other parts of the country, many, you know, prominent persons have called for self-defense for their own people. And the South East, uh, the, the people who said they are leaders here, leaders in quotes, self-made, self-acclaimed leaders, they are doing nothing. They lack the, the strength. They lack the moral rectitude to say anything because they have compromised with the Fulani oligarchs. And that is it.